let's continue looking at the definitions of terms in the CSEC syllabus. Parallel. Given distinct lines in the plane that are infinite in both directions, the lines are parallel if they never meet. Two distinct lines in the coordinate planes are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. Parallelogram. A quadrilateral, which means four sides, a quadrilateral that contains two pairs of parallel sides. That means the square and the rectangle, they are parallelograms too. Alright? Two pairs of parallel sides. Pattern. Characteristics observed in one item that may be repeated in similar or identical manner in other items. Percent. A ratio that compares a number to 100. The symbol for percent, and you see it there. So per means out of, cent means 100, so it's out of 100. Perpendicular. Two lines are said to be perpendicular if to each other if they form a 90 degree angle. 90 degrees angle. Pi. The designated name for the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. So that's pi. You know that to two decimal places it is 3.14. Pi chart. A chart made by plotting the numeric values of a set of quantities as a set of adjacent circular wedges where the arc lengths are proportional to the total amount. All wedges taken together comprise an entire disk. That's a pie chart. Pie graph. A diagram showing a system of connections or interrelations between two or more things by using a circle divided into segments that look like pieces of pie. Right. Polygon, a closed figure formed by three or more line segments. That's polygon. It, when it has three sides, you say it's a triangle. When it has four sides, a quadrilateral. When it has five sides, a pentagon, and so on. It, and it must be closed. Polyera, pol, polyhedra. Any solid figure with an outer surface composed of polygon faces. Okay, just like the prism or the pyramid. Polynomial, an algebraic expression involving a sum of algebraic terms with non-negative integer powers. For example, 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus x plus 6 is a polynomial in one variable. That means if you had a 2x cubed plus 3x to the negative 2, it would not be a polynomial. If you have a 2x to the negative 3, that would be not be a polynomial. Because here it says non-negative integer powers. Population. In statistics, population is a set of all items under consideration. Okay? So like when they study the population using a census they tried to get in touch with everybody that's a population when you contact only some of the persons in the population that is a sample prime a numerical a natural number p greater than one is prime if and only if the only positive integer factors of p are one and p so it has factors of only one and itself. Only one and itself can divide into it without leaving a remainder. The first seven prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 11, 13, 17. 2 is the only prime number that is also an even number. Probability. The measure of how likely it is for an event to occur. The probability of an event 
is always a number between 0 and 1. Proportion. A relationship between two ratios in which the first ratio is always equal to the second. Usually in the form A over B is equal to C over D. To the fraction of a part of, of a part and the whole. For two parts of a whole are in the ratio. If two parts of a whole are in the ratio 2 to 7, then the corresponding proportions are 2 to 9 and 7 to 9 respectively. Alright. Protractor, an instrument used for drawing and measuring angles. Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem states that the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. Or a square plus b square is equal to c square, where c is a hypotenuse. So you know that that would have to be a right angle triangle. It is a right angle triangle that has a hypotenuse. Quadrant, the four parts of a coordinate plane divided by the x and y axes. Each of these quadrants has a new number designation. First quadrant contains all the points with x and positive y coordinates. Second quadrant, all the positive, all the points with positive x and positive y. Third quadrant, all the points with both negative coordinates, with both coordinates negative, and fourth quadrant contains all the points with positive x and negative y coordinates. Alright, you can look at a figure with all four quadrants in it. Quadratic function, a function given by a polynomial degree of 2. That means it has something like x squared, no x cubed because that would be a cubic equation. It lies, should have x squared and x. It might have x and numbers in it. Quadrilateral, a polygon that has four sides. So quad means four. Quartiles, consider a set of numbers arranged in ascending or descending order. The quartiles are the first three numbers which divide the set into four parts of equal amount of numbers. The first quartile in a list of numbers is the number such that such that a quarter of the number is below it. The second quartile is the median. The third quartile is the number such that three quarters of the numbers are below it. So the first quartile in a list is set of numbers so that a quarter of the numbers is below it. Okay, so you're looking at a quarter of the number below it, for example, 26%. That's the first quartile, or up to 25. Up to 25, 0 to 25 would be below the 25 point whatever it is and above. Twen above 25 would be the first quartile. The second quartile is the median, which would be 50%. The third quartile is a number such that three quarters of the numbers are below it. So the third quartile, you're looking at above 75%. All right, quotient, the result of division, just like how the result of adding you sum, the result of division is a quotient, or the answer when you divide is a quotient. Radical. The radical symbol, which has the square root sign, is used to indicate the taking of a root of a number. The q root of x means the qth root of x. If x is 2, if q is equal to 2, then it is usually written as just the radical 
over x. For example, the fifth root of 243 is 3, the fourth root of 16 is 2. The radical always me means to take the positive value. For example, if both 5 and negative 5 satisfy the equation, then x squared is equal to 25. But the square root of 25 is equal to 5, the positive value. Range. The range of a set of numbers is the difference between the largest value in the set and the smallest value in the set. Note that the range is a single number, not many numbers. All right? So the difference between the largest and smallest, you have the largest minus the smallest, and what you get is the range. Range of a function, f. The set of numbers, f of x, for which x for x in the domain of f. So, it's actually the answers. You put in the domain, those numbers, you put in the function. When you pass them through the function, you get the answer. The answers would be the range. The set of answers would be the range. So, for each number you put in, which is the domain, you get an answer for each of them. So, that set of number you get out is the range. Ratio. A comparison expressed as a fraction. For example, the ratio of three boys to two girls in a class is two to three. Or written this way: three colon uh, three boys to two girls. Three to two. Three over two. Or three colon two. Rational numbers. Numbers that can be expressed as the quotient of two integers. For example, seven over three five. 7 third 5 eleventh negative 5 13 7 which is the same as 7 over 1 all right so those are rational numbers you can write them as a whole number over another whole number ray a straight line that begins at a point and continues outwards in one direction real number the union of the set of rational numbers and the set of irrational numbers which means all numbers except those imaginary numbers. They are both rational and irrational numbers. Reciprocal. The reciprocal of a number is e A is equal to 1 over A, where A is not equal to 0. Reg regular polygon. A polygon whose side lengths are all the same and whose interior angle measures are all the same. A rhombus. A parallelogram with four congruent sides, same lengths, the sides are the same length. Right angle, an angle of 90 degrees. Right triangle, a triangle containing an angle of 90 degrees. Rotate, the turning of an object or coordinate system by an angle about a fixed point. Alright, we'll break from here and we continue next time by looking at roots. Root.